What's up, JoJo and the Morning Family? I hope you guys are having a phenomenal Thursday. And welcome back to Ephesians 3.20 week. Hopefully Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday has been such a huge blessing to you. I absolutely love the scripture. I think this scripture has as much power to get you to dream big, to think big, to understand that God is limitless. This scripture will help you so much. So let's get into Ephesians 3.20 again. Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than all that we dare to ask or think beyond our greatest prayers today is hopes and dreams. We're going to talk about hope today. We're going to talk about having a whole lot of hope today. Now, let me ask you this. What, what happened to you, to me, to most adults? Like, if I read this scripture to a bunch of kids that are four to seven or eight years old, they have no problem with this scripture. No problem. None. Because they don't mind asking big, thinking big, praying big, hopes. Their hopes are crazy. Dreams, aspirations. But as we get older, and a lot of people have some hard knocks in life, and things knock them down, and things didn't go their way, and they were hurt by family members, friends, co-workers, coaches, teachers, whatever, they, they lose that awe and wonder of God. They, they question, God, where were you during this or that? And a lot of people do that. Listen, friends, you've got to get healed from those situations, and you have to find hope again. My wife and I, every morning when we talk, we, you know, we're both in, in a good mood almost all the time. But if one of us isn't, the other one picks the other one up and fills the other one with hope. My wife, she walks around the house and throws her arms up in the air and she is declaring, decreeing, prophesying, quoting prophetic words, quoting scriptures. And you've got to have that hope. You've got to have that hope. A lot of people lose hope along the way. And, you know, I, I know a lot of people have lost hope. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. A lot of people believed on things and, and it just didn't happen. I'm telling you, you've got to rise up and overcome that with God. You got to be able to hope again. You need to have some hope. You know, people say faith, hope, and love. A lot of people have faith. A lot of people have love, but not as many people have hope. But we got to hope again. Okay. Let's get into some scriptures. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. May the God of hope, hope comes from God. So when you get closer to God, you get his hope. The last word in that scripture is the word hope. So that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. Now, a lot of you have a lot of hope and you don't even know it. Women, you know when you need a max moment and you go to TJ Maxx, you are hoping and praying that that right shirt or dress or shoes is there. 
Men, when you go hunting, you hope and pray and declare. Men can get spiritual when they're hunting. You know, the, 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 that big buck walks out, whatever it may be. When you go car shopping, that right car at the right price is there. Whatever it may be. We hope a lot. We just don't realize that we're hoping. But you need to have that hope again towards the things of God. God wants you to have that. Romans 12, 12 it says, Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation and consistent in prayer. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute. Hope, tribulation, and prayer? Those three words are in the same scripture? That makes no sense in the natural mind. But let's say tribulation. When you're going through a trial or a tribulation or a hardship, you got to pray and while you're praying and you're in the midst of a hardship, you got to make sure you still have hope. You ever, you ever had a flat tire or got your vehicle stuck and you, that's a tribulation and you're praying, but you are hoping somebody can come by to help you. In life, when you're in a tribulation, you gotta pray. And if you ever lose hope, you will start to sink. And I even feel by the Spirit, some people here, you feel like you've already sunk. Well, let me tell you, the moment you start praying, and the moment you start believing, and the moment you start hoping again, you will start to rise. And you will rise past the old place that you left and you will go to new heights with the Lord. You gotta hope. Lamentations 3, 24. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. A lot of times people can't look inside of themselves and find any hope. But you can always go to the word of God and find hope. You can always allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. You can always find hope in the Lord. Jeremiah 17, 7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. And if your trust is completely hidden in the Lord, like just full on, just grab a hold of God, that's where your trust is. That's where your hope is. That's how you get through anything. Now, when God is building you, when God is accelerating you, and God is bringing you into new levels, new heights of ministry, business, whatever it may be, you got to grab a hold of God. You have to have hope. You have to trust that where he's taking you is a better place and it is in full alignment with your prophetic words and he will push you into that place that you need to be and everything will start to shift. My friends, I'm telling you, hope again, believe again. And when that happens, God will start to move in your heart and life at a degree that's going to bring so much joy back to you. I, I just see so many people being filled with joy right now in this season. And so I just want to speak life and blessing over you. And I declare in the name of Jesus that hope is arising in the hearts and minds of everybody today. And I declare that to be so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, you can go to my website, jojodawson.net. Find anything you need to know about what we got going on. And also, there's a place for prayer. Send me a prayer request. I would love to pray for you. Love you guys.